Hey guys, Lucas here, back with another LEGO video. Today I'm going to be showcasing my LEGO Mayfair Years Series 18. I'm going to be doing a review. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the policeman minifigure because he was incredibly rare. I was so close to completing it, but when they got the the box nearly newly opened that they just displayed it one of the people there they bought the policeman i was so close to getting him but i couldn't but at least i still got most of the minifigures from this series i only am missing one so i'm only going to take a look at 16 sorry guys from the tilted view but uh, i'm going to take a look at these guys in no order at all i'm just gonna just go through them in an in-depth look and then we'll take a look at the foil packaging and the paper later so yeah so we are going to start off with the first minifigure that is on top of the box which is the firework guy some people call him rocket man but everyone knows he's the firework guy i'm glad i got the lighting brighter because in my reviews it was very dark but now i get it very bright so yeah woohoo and i'm only gonna use one hand which is gonna be hard but here you go though here's the firework guy he has a little bang it has a bang on his costume he's definitely one of my favorites a lot of people like these costume guys but this is still one of my favorites like you can see his like um there's like stars all over it and there's like a hole up top and then there's nothing that much at all besides that, which is kind of weird. And then his sungla he has sunglasses. And yeah, that is really it for the Rocket Man. I mean, Firework Guy, sorry. Next Lego minifigure that is on the box, what well, was on the box, is the um, Dragon Suit Guy, which is a tribute to the fantasy era dragon and from Lego Castle, which I really like. And you can see he has some like toe parts, like toe printing for like the claws on his foot. There's no back printing. He does have, I think, a new mold from the wings that's different from the gargoyles. Might be wrong about that. And then you can see like there's like rock printing or something on side of it. I'm not really a dragon expert, so you guys could tell me what it is. And by the way, keep in mind that all minifigures here have a printed plate, which is kind of cool. And you can see he has like a bunch of those black spot things here and then there's like knittings and like here's the head part which looks really cool and this is not one mold there's actually like two parts so there's like horns here that you put in you put out and he has two faces which is a mad face and the other one he has a happy face and yep that is it for the dragon guy so next minifigure that was on the box on top of the box was the birthday cake boy and you can see he is actually one of my favorites the best part is obviously this cake which you can see how it attaches right there it just goes through like a hole here and he just stands in the cake and then yeah you can see like pink splattering i wish there wasn't blue there so you could use it for pink pants i also wish they didn't have like the pink splattering on this thing even at the back because it would have been more useful for like like a city guy and his face is probably another good part because he, it looks a lot like Benny which which I like but the hair piece is kind of boring I wish he went with a new mold and he kind of did for with the hole that he could put on the for the gold party hat but you know it isn't really that unique and because they still at least they use the classic hair but in black but Maybe they could have done that in a different color, which would have been better. So next Lego minifigure that was on the box was, is the birthday, not really birthday boy, but party kid, party boy. And he's definitely one of my favorites. He's way better than the girl. Sorry guys for the tilting like that. He's definitely way better than the girl because she, um, you just uses reprints oops sorry guys sorry guys that the thing fell but she i mean her present box is a good part but 
Hers was very not unique. They just reprint. But this one is exclusive Series 1 minifigure packets, which are great. And the rest of the minifigure is also great because this because his torso does not have anything special to it. So it's just a normal thing. So you can just use it for a generic businessman. And of course, the balloon is also really useful for like party people. Also, his face and his hair. So this is definitely a great figure. I like the torso because for the party girl, she uses like a ribbon and this one doesn't. So you can use it for a normal businessman guy. And that's what I like. So speaking of party girl, Here's the party girl, which is a really, really, really cool minifigure, but not as cool as the Fleet Boy. I like her balloon, probably the best part, because, but keep in mind that you can't take it apart, even though if they have that top part, you still can't. And it is very, like, springy, I guess. I like how the gift is new. It's like a new piece, but what's inside it are not very interesting. It just reprints a bunch of prints that existed before. And you can see in the other one is a donut. Okay. Now, moving on, we she has a new hair piece with a hole up top. I wish it didn't have a party hat so that there won't be a hole, but oh well. Look at her. You can see her cute little kitty face. She looks really cute. And uh, what I was talking about, the torso would have been more useful for, like, a cook, like, with an apron, but... They have the ribbon, so it is kind of annoying in my opinion. But either way, that is it for Party Girl. Next minifigure is a party clown this time, instead of party people is a party clown. And the best part is obviously his um, like little balloon parts, which is super useful. And there's no printing, obviously. Like, no like dual molded legs and stuff like that. See? You can see his orange coattail, same that they use for Joker. And then, it's, oh my god, sorry guys. The thing is like tilting like that, I don't know, because I have to hold it up. And you can see that detailing like the line. I wish it wasn't there, but you could see like a little suit for like a circus guy. You could see that his little eyebrows up there, ugh. You can get a good view of his face. There you go, I got it to focus. And it's just a clowny look. And then you can see the hat has a flower up top. And yep. Keep in mind that these guys, like their plates, they fall off all the time. That's super annoying. I like to leave it off. But anyway, I'm never going to see those plates again. So, yeah, that either way, that is a for party clown. So, next minifigure is the unicorn guy, which is honestly one of the worst minifigures here because it's literally just a recolor and a gender swap of one of the, probably one of my least favorite minifigures from Series 13, which is the unicorn girl. She uses the same head mold, not really the head mold, but head part mold, like the accessory part. Sorry guys for the noise, but not really head mold, but like the head part that they put in the horn, they change it to gold, which yeah. The shield's whatever, I don't like that unicorn, I wish it was plain blue or something. I mean, his hair, his sword is nothing new. And then this part, I guess it's a cool thing for like a king, but nothing really too interesting there. You can see the toe printing as well. Still use the same um, like tail part of the cowboy, which you're gonna be taking a look at next. So yeah, that's it for a unicorn guy. Oh yeah, by the way, he has a winking face. We had an older net, so we could have it without the winking, but oh well. So oh hey, my sister's there. Say hi. Hi. My name is Andy. Okay. Oh, so yeah, if you heard what she just said, do that right now. It took a bit a while, and you could see her playing here with the plane back there, but yeah. Anyway, moving on back to the topic is the cowboy, and yep, definitely one of my favorites because this horse part isn't really useful, so obviously I'm going to remove that. But when you remove that, he'll just seem like a regular cowboy, and that's what I like. It's the same thing with the race car driver. That's what I like about this. So if you just take off the costume part, you'll just make it into normal cowboy, which is great. You can see that, and it's kind of weird that his arms, like if you look closely, it isn't a regular yellow if you compare to the hands. And then you can see he has like boot printing over there, if I zoom in, which is really cool. And he has a face print, which is really useful as well. 
There you go, he got his focus. He has a really nice cowboy hat that's useful. And it might be a new mold, I'm not sure. Comment if you guys, if I'm wrong. And now down to the last eight minifigures. So to speed up the time, we'll take a look at these two guys. Probably because they're like the exact same thing. The only thing that is different is the gender, is it the gender swap and they changed the color to blue. And you can see their accessory is a color swap, as you can see. You can see their colors. Sorry guys, if I was not be able to get it into the focus, but you can see the accessories are literally just color swaps. That is disappointing. Definitely one of my least favorite parts about them. Definitely one of my least favorite minifigures. No, just kidding. Definitely one of my favorites. I like it because of their brick, it's so funny. I like costume people, but the thing I don't like is like, look at this. The hair is the exact same color. I, I mean, like they're practically, I guess they're sis brothers and sisters, but I wish it was different, but at least it's a useful thing to get. Sorry guys, it's not really focusing, but it's useful. Oh, focus, you stupid phone. Did I just see the thing with its mouth on its own? That was weird. But either way, you can see his face, which looks really cute. And you can connect these guys. You can connect these guys with together like this. You can also stand figures and sit figures, which is really cool. Oops. And you can see this is uh, the brick doesn't go over the torso because it's just one whole piece. And you can see it fits perfectly well. Oops, uh, freak. Sorry. It fits perfectly well on the dude, so yeah, that's good. Sorry guys if it's not focusing, but yeah, that's it for blue brick and red brick. Okay, so next minifigure, it's not gonna go in a group anymore, just I wanted to do it with the big people. But either way, next minifigure is the flower plant girl. And you can see she has an alternate face, which she has her smiling, and the other one has like a confused or shocked look. And you can see how it attaches, the pot just goes over her feet like that and then yeah just goes on a normal attachment and you can see her shirt is like a stem i wish it was in a plain green though so i could use it as a generic minifigures uh, shirt but uh, i don't know anyway i'm gonna stall to put this thing back together you can see there you go here's the plant or flower girl she also has a new little like dual molded um like head attachment part which is seems really cool but no, this minifigure is not really my taste so i kind of wish she had a flower accessory it would make it better that's kind of what i don't like about these costume guys that they don't have accessories but yeah some of these guys do well this girl does not need any accessories at all because she looks like a lego cactus by itself like if you turn it at the back she just looks like a normal cactus, which is so cool. I, that's what I like about this. And you can see she has two faces, which is her happy. And then the other one is her, um, like, a, she got pricked or something. But, oh, well. And you can see, like, the torso is so similar. You can't really tell whether it's the front or whether it's the back. There kind of is a difference, like, with the wrinkles. And if you look at the back... There's not, there's no wrinkle lines, which is kind of weird. And then her arms don't really say which way they point. So yeah, either way, that is A4 Cactus Girl. And did change the background a bit, but anyway, here is the Elephant Girl. <gasps> background Returns. No, <laughs> Batman Returns. Watch that movie. Um, either way, here's the Elephant Girl. Sorry, folks. Um, you can see she's definitely one of the worst movie figures in the series. You can see her alternate face right there. And he has her smiling. This one has her, like, pretty scared. Sorry, guys, I have it tilted because I don't have a tripod. So I'd always squish it down like that. And then you can see her tummy printing is definitely nothing useful. The only good part is definitely the mouse and her face. You can see she has, like, some toe printing over there. But other than that, I'm not really that big of a fan of this minifigure. I'm just gonna go straight with the two group people, but uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'll just go with one. But either way, here's the cat person, which definitely is another one of the worst minifigures in this series, because the only good part is her accessory. She looks like a Chima person, which doesn't make sense, because it's supposed to be a costume, 
party thing, and you can see her face is pretty bland. The arms would have been more useful if it didn't have that hair part, and also here. So it would have been more useful because if these things weren't there, it would just be useful for plain legs and no back burning. You can see her tail, which is kind of whatever. So next minifigure, Andy's holding it, is Spider Boy. And he always hold that, okay? And you can see he has like a new head part, and you can see she has like a rubber like attachment, and you can be a borrow. So I have taken over because, yeah, it is gonna need some help with the turnings and stuff. You can see like he uses a pretty cool jacket, definitely one of the better ones. Okay, I'm gonna move back to the normal angle. Now, his accessory is definitely the worst part of him. Um, probably because I, I wish he had the black version of the newer style spider. That's all I wish. You can see the back. Hasn't been fused. And there's also some like printing here for the jacket, which is really useful. I wish it didn't have that. Sorry, guys, if it's not focusing, but I, d I wish it didn't have the webbing design on him because, I don't know, it makes it more or less usable, I guess you could say, but that is it for Spider Boy. Next minifigure, which is the last minifigure. Uh, no, 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 Kuya will hold it for, okay? You can hold it later. Either way, here's a race car man, definitely one of my favorites. He's like the cowboy where you can just take off his car part. You can just use him as a normal race car driver, which I like. You can see many details that I like here, like you can see that helmet part, which is super useful. It also says Grand Brie or Grand Bricks, I don't know. Sorry guys, it's a bit too close, but uh, yep, here it also says Grand B, and this one says Cross axle so yeah there you go i got it a bit darker now but anyway and you can see the part that says clutch drive and you can see his face and then we're gonna look at the car piece now which is definitely really cool it just slides onto the legs it can ride on its own like it has like dumbo pieces and this is an engine print where you can just attach it to a stud oh, yeah. yes yeah. sorry about any interrupting but Either way, here's the engine print that I was showing you guys. Yeah. And you can see right here it has like a 40 and then you have lights. Makes it look like a bit like a Cars minifigures, but either way, that is it for all the minifigures in the series. Now we're going to take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. So here's the packaging of the series. You can see it's a little orange design. So now to the final verdict. Sorry, guys, I couldn't find the footage, but I am back. And so for the final verdict, I think this is great. I do wish it instead, like, why do it a costume party? These guys are still great, but why do it a costume party? They should have just placed, like, very old minifigures that were discontinued, but then you could easily get them here. Then I would love, love this minifigure series, but it's still a good series, except there's a couple of flaws here and there. But at the end of the day, I appreciate this series. Like, it's great, I love it. I know costume fig figures aren't that really usable, but probably my favorites are going to be the racer dude and the cowboy person or horse person. And maybe, yeah, that's probably my only favorite. No, I'm just kidding. I like the entire series, but either way, that's it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. And I shall see you guys later.